John, what are your immediate thoughts after that? We spoke, I suppose, in the last week that it would be a very tight game. A very um, difficult game when you get matches like this, generally, um, there isn't a lot of chances and you have to take your chance if it comes that way. Obviously, uh, we have to make a change. Danny Kane coming in making his debut tonight looks you know, phenomenal performance. You look at the back four, brand new back four, all young lads and uh, defended fantastically well and it's a four clean sheet in a row and um, I think we've played six home games and we haven't conceded which is which is phenomenal but um, you know Garrod Morrissey finished brilliant goal I know Gary hit the crossbar before that and came out but Garrod held his head and finished it and it was that type of game there wasn't much in, in it and um, you know we, we were under the cash maybe a little bit in the last ten minutes but the boys defended really really well and I think overall Mark didn't really have a save to make, so in a very, very tight game, a few chances, you know, we need to take the chance that we got. As you say, kind of a relatively inexperienced back form for Conor McCarthy to get the man a match just shows you how well he's progressed, I suppose. Well, we have huge opinions of Conor and you can see his talent. It's all about concentration, focus, and, you know, he is tremendous talent, so is McLaughlin, so is Danny Kane. Griffin, who was out tonight, Colum Horgan, who has had a difficult time in the President's Cup, and assured me during the week that, that wouldn't happen to him again. And he was outstanding. You know, he he didn't give Michael Luffy, he was one of the top players, really, uh, an opportunity to even get a cross in. So, um, but as a back four, you know, the concentration levels were superb because you're up against experienced players, particularly Patrick Hogan, who can push around the place. But you know, even though you know the knock went quite direct for maybe the last 20 minutes, the lads still up. Defended really well, got the headers in, got the blocks in, and um, you know the young players w will only get better. You know, look, you look at the bench, and you have, you know, the experience of Benno and um, Aaron Barry and Stephen Beasy on the bench. You know, and uh, you know, so over a season, the lads, the lads will come back into to, to, to play. But um, you know, the young lads, it's all about holding the concentration because they have energy, they have legs, they have tremendous ability. But sometimes you can get switched off, you can get bullied. But you know, tonight did it really well. Psychologically, how big a win is it? I, I, I don't know. I just, I just think that it's, um, you know, when you look at the, the change of the team and the new personnel that's coming over the season, you know, I think these guys have worked really, really hard. The lads who come in from the outside have bought into what we're trying to do, and um, it's taken a little bit of time, but you know, um, the most important thing, I suppose, 13 games gone, we're up near the top and. I keep saying once we get to the break and we're in, in around that position, I'll be happy enough. Do you feel you have to change at half time, given that if you're going to open them up, like Graham Cummins up top is a bit isolated, big gaps there. Do you feel that if you're going to open them up, you have to change things around a bit at half time? Yeah, well, it was a hard game, but we looked at maybe making a change at half time. But it is a hard game and there's a lot of energy, in, but it still was a very tight game. You know, it wasn't as if. Um, you know, we had been on the back foot. There was lots of chances coming. The lads had, you know, at times had. I thought we actually started the game quite well, but um, you know, there was a period in the first half. All right, they got a header and they hit the post. But you know, overall, it wasn't as if um, you know we were getting pulled around the park or anything like that. But we had, we had, we had dropped off a bit. So we looked at that at half time. But then sometimes, you know, you get the boys in and you know they get a bit of a break and you talk to them again and and um, well, they came out in the second half and you know we we did well. Obviously, Jimmy. Um, I put an awful lot of work in. He had played Monday night, the full game, and uh, we just felt that Gary might give us a bit more. And um, you know, he came in and he hit a, hit the crossbar straight away, and, and obviously then Garrod has a fantastic finish. And you know, within four or five minutes, I think Shepton had a glorious chance at the back post to, to probably kill the game off. But um, yeah, you're always looking at different scenarios and different different games and different occasions. But um, you know, overall, you know, the the way the lads. Played tonight overall, um, you know, you couldn't ask for any more. You dropped with the clean sheets there, John. We haven't conceded at home yet, but and that's what probably one of the biggest tests I get. Like in this, I mean, they're done dark, but the firepower, the score goals all the time. So that's, that's one of the biggest tests you can imagine again. Well, you know, sometimes I keep saying you come to a game against Dundalk, 7,000 people, um, you can you can raise your game and buy into the atmosphere, you know, sometimes you're home against Sligo and there's three and a half thousand people and people expect you to win. You know, defending might be more difficult because you have to hold your concentration and Pats, the way Pats play and Pats probably pull you around the pitch a bit more and 
you know, and, and then the night against Pats here was a difficult night for us. They actually probably caused us more trouble. But um, look at, you know, if you said at the start of the season that we'd be after playing six or seven home games and it was six home games and we have six clean sheets and certainly from the turn of order for that we got four in a row since then you'd be saying well the chance that we're probably going to win the matches then. The back four John being so young Mac Nulty and Alan Bennett must be huge influence on the way they have, they've taken to the game. Yeah absolutely I suppose you know I keep saying about Mac Nulty you know he's a he's a great character great fella to have you know, you're probably looking at himself and Rogers, probably two of the best keepers in, in the where are two of the best keepers in the league. But uh, McNulty has been totally underrated and um you know he's been a huge player for us since we took over this this club. And um you know for him to be behind those lads, you know, obviously his guidance and at training and in fairness as well to Peter Cherry because he's a very experienced keeper and at training gives a lot of encouragement to the lads and uh, you know Benno Benno is Benno and um you know he knows that you know he's not gonna be wrong for you know, too many more years, but at the same time, he's a lot of impact and um, a lot of advice to those guys. So I keep saying with young players, you know, it's whether they can manage themselves, hold their heads, and go to see can they be consistent to prove them, to prove that. And uh, time will tell. But I'd be very disappointed if if, if our younger players you know, got carried away because um, they seem to be level level headed guys. John, how big a call was it not to put in one of the more experienced fellas in the defence when you knew Shane would be out injured? Yeah, it was something we looked at. Um, then, if we did, we'd have had to make a number of positional changes. Um, and then, you know, to be fair to the boys, you know, when they get a couple of clean sheets under a belt, it breeds confidence, and there's a bit of, I say, partnerships between between players. So, um, yeah, it was um, it was something we dwelled on all week. But I suppose we have to make calls and. Some days they work, some but days the guys don't. coming in, John, are putting their hands up, aren't they? Danny Kane tonight, his first game. Colm Horgan, after a difficult start, as you admitted, I think he's settled in the past three or four games. He's been outstanding. Yeah, but I suppose a lot of work is on the training ground. It's not just turn up in the match nine. It just happens. There's a lot of work, you know, done in one v ones, positional play. You know, that's all part of coaching and, uh, and uh, managing. So a lot, a lot of work goes on. Um, it's very difficult when you go Friday, Monday, Friday because it's very testing on the players, it's unfair really it, it, it is so many games this year but that's just the way it is you know, whereas if it's Friday, Friday you can do a lot more work um, on the training ground and, and I suppose that's what we're doing because there's so many new players And but the key thing mainly for these lads is that they understand where they are that if they lose, you know, the 7,000 people going out together are going to give you a bit of stick you know what I mean, so it's being able to manage and as I keep saying, it's always a situation can you handle that pressure and um, you know, at the moment, uh, you know, the lads that are there at the moment seem to, seem to be that they can do that. It's a long way to go. John, on, in his television interview, Stephen Kenny said that you went fairly direct and didn't allow them to play. I think he probably meant it as an insult, but it's something you, you take as a compliment that, you know, you, you kind of limited them. Mark only had one kind of real save to make in the second half. Yeah, well, it's, it depends what way you look at it and you can re review it yourself and look back on TV. You know, we felt probably in the last, we felt that obviously this year, Doc have changed their style, they don't have the movement of Kilduff and uh, McMillan, so with Patrick Hogan who's a fantastic player, he's brilliant and he a great hold of play, so they use him a lot and they go direct. You know, I think maybe if Stephen looks at the last 20 minutes of the match, I think he'll probably see that, I don't know many, but they certainly played maybe 20, 30 balls direct from the halfway line straight on top of him, so it <laughs> depends what way you look at it. You know, if people want to criticise me, that's fine. You know, at the end of the day, I'm here to do a job. I've come in, you know, um, we've been free flowing for the last couple of years. Where we had different players, Dooley, Maguire, all these guys are special. We had the best goal scorer that has probably been in the history of the league. Um, you know, that might be unfair, maybe one or two other strikers that have been there. So we evolved and we turned into a fantastic team. But we've lost a number of players and you have to go again. You have to start, and um, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. And you know, we've been in some performances this year, we've been outstanding. You know, we've got a number of goals, um, pats, ball for balls, whatever. Some days, you know, things have gone against us and we've had to dig in and all of a sudden that happens. And But don't worry about it, we, we, the goals will come. And look at, as I said, well used to, you know, I, I wish people would talk up the league rather than slagging me off. You know, but look at, that's me anyway. Sorry, John, I, I, I missed some of the early conversation, but can I just ask you, uh, uh, like 12 weeks away to go, whenever when the season was starting, 
I presume you wouldn't. Would how how close to the defence you imagined you'd have been playing when Dundalk came for here for this game was that tonight? Well, I think what we looked at them with all the, the changes and you know in terms of you know I keep saying that we're bringing Brock Graham in as well. They should see could he get goals and he has. Um, was he ever going to get the, the goals that Maguire was going to get? Of course he wasn't. You know, different type of players, different system. You know, we lost Dooley, who was an underrated player, really creative player as well. So it, it's, it, it's taken a bit of time. So, as I said, what I, what I was hoping for really, Emmett, was to get to the break and just see that we could be in the top two or three, three or five, four points off and at the second half of the season look after ourselves. Because I was aware, even though on the outside people assume you win the double, but don't, you know, you look at the facts. You know, you know, it is a bit like Brian Delaney, phenomenal player. Yeah. No, that's a car. The, the, these guys are gone. You know, you know. So that just happens. And um, you know, we've had a few injuries, with a few suspensions. But at the same time, I always felt to start the year, get the guys in, work them hard, get into the break, and be in around there. I'd be happy with that. And, and, and so has the team changed more than than you than you really kind of imagined it would? It has. You know, like I, I don't think. You know, did I think after 13 games out of a a back four or four new players, yeah. certainly not. You know what I mean? That's just the way it's gone, and yeah. uh, you just have to deal with it. And you know, you you can moan and groan, or you can put your head, head down and work on the training ground with all the man management staff and coaching, and try and gel the boys. And thankfully, that's what we're trying to do. And you know, it's a long, long way to go. But you know, we could be one night. We could be coming out more of us one night with no points. And what good is the night then? You know, so. I, I